See, I had a really big problem in life because I was functioning at full levels of success in the city. I mean, New York loved me, and I love New York. But when I did my, my, my transition and made some changes and decided to get out of the city, I simply noticed I'm not performing at the best of my ability. And I kept saying, it must be some type of compulsion. But what I realized was I had made a big, big mistake. Here's my mistake. My mistake. I'm not jealous of our honorable Mr. Gaston Brown. But over the years, while I'm in Antigua, I noticed he kept his mouth stashed thick. And I kept saying, you know, I kind of like that idea, but maybe it might make me look like an officer. Because I had it somewhat thick like that, and many people took me for an officer of the law. Whereas, I don't want nobody to take me for police. Because I'm not. And I don't have nothing against the cops, but I don't want nobody to take me for somebody that I'm not. So, I became frustrated over the duration of the years that I've been here, and I was going through it. I weathered through the storm. I effectively applied myself, and I got the elevation in reduction of stress that I was actually extending my tentacles to reach for, and it happened. And I'm going to give you a simple reason. As I'm observing our honorable Mr. Gaston Brown, I noticed his mustache is so thick. I'm saying it to myself. So you could smell more nectar doing your time on moving around in the streets. Because, you know, I'm a regular guy, of course. But sometimes I notice I would actually go downstairs in the basement of a woman, sometimes three times, twice a day, just to keep the smell at my top lip. And I noticed, as I said, you know what? I'm going to just go up my bread like the Prime Minister and see what, see what happens. So I grew it out to a level I never grew it out before. And before I was getting at least four to five sniffs every 12 hours. Well, it's a 12 hour time period, but before the 12 hour come, the smell is gone. So as I thicken it, I notice I'm holding that residue so I could keep on just smelling. So you know, Mr. Unrub Gasabon is a motivational factor for me. I'm not a politician because I'm obviously not eligible to run the country because if they gave me the opportunity to run the country, I would involve corruption and I would send to Afghanistan for the heroin so I could get it transported to England in the tons. That's how I live. I'm corruption. I'm a corrupt boss. So as I'm going through my process of growing up, my mouth starts thicken. I came to Munstrat. Well, before I left, I sampled it and I got an extra couple of ways. But since it thickened, then I came over here to Munstrat. I met a particular subject. I mean, I was like, you know, dark skin, whoa. And I did what I had to do. And for the first time I was exposed, I mean, I smelled my top lip for nearly 12 hours a full bit. <laughs> so, Mr. Gasson Brown, I'm really gratified that you motivated me to how to figure out how to get more nectar stuff in my mustache so I could feel more invigorated during the day. You, you motivate me, and just because of that, I think I'm going to vote for you, Mr. Gasson. I believe in you, actually, and I think I'm going to have to put my ex there for you. I don't care about what people think about what you do, because they don't even have the ability to run the country, neither do I. So someone that's appointed to run the country, I'll have to have respect for him. And Jay, Jay, Jay Chu, don't disrespect our prime minister. He's a thinking mode now. I see auntie man that looking for attention. You feed your dirty pick me and your mother's son. You hear? I have nothing else to say. We're gone, brother. Life is so sweet on this side of the fence. Thank you, Monstrat, for giving me back my energy. And I get a lot of energy in Monstrat. Thank you, Mr. Gaston Brown.